Uh, any advice on uh, uh, application for JET? So the JET application, as far as I remember, you have to provide, uh, I'm pretty sure it's probably the same process. You have to write a uh, personal essay about what you hope to gain from the JET program. Um, I forget how many words it is, but I believe mine was about a, a page and a half. So however many words that equates to. Uh, that's probably that's probably one of the harder parts, uh, writing the essay. Uh, but everything else is pretty easy. Uh, you just have to provide your, uh, I believe, all of your grades from college. Because you do have to have a college degree to teach in Japan. Uh, so you have to send them over all of your grades. Uh, what is that thing called again? Uh, not your curriculum, not your... Uh, what the fuck is that thing called? Not your degree. Um, transcript, yeah, that's the word, yeah. You have to send your transcript over. Uh, and then they'll take a look at that. To see that you graduated. Uh, all that kind of shit. Then the other hard part about the JET application is... You need two letters of reference. Um... I believe they have to be professional, uh, as far as I know, professional or academic. I don't think you can get a family member to do them. Um, so they have to come from somewhere where you are involved with like a, I don't know, like a club or like um, somewhere in school or uh, obviously, you know, from a previous professional setting. Um, my advice with those, pick someone who had like uh, a, you know, a, a higher role than you at a job. That's always the best. For those kind of things um because they can uh you know give a, a full unbiased opinion of your work performance and how you work on as a team and how easily you're managed stuff like that so if you have an old manager that you're cool with uh hopefully didn't burn bridges or anything anywhere that you worked at uh that is a a, a solid fucking place to get a, a reference letter from that's what i did um and then uh you need two though will you write it for me Yo, I could hire you. I'll hire you as an editor on the Discord or something like that. You can have a job for a month and then yeah, I'll write your uh, I'll write your reference letter. Yeah, you need two letters, yeah. Or a manager you can buy with a bribe. <laughs> yeah, I used uh I used a uh, a manager that I worked with uh at the gym. Uh, and they were really chill. And then my other reference letter was uh, from uh, actually my coach, like my my fitness coach, uh, who helped train me for uh, my bodybuilding competition. But he was a he was a fellow trainer as well, and we like did some business together uh, with training, like client wise. So we worked together for a few years. So he was like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll write you a letter." But he's all he was also from Brooklyn, and he's he always like would talk like, "Yo, what's up, dude? Yo, what's going on, man?" And he would always come in with like a pound of weed into the uh, into the damn gym. So I'm so curious to read what he wrote. He never he never sent me what he wrote in the essay, but I, I wonder if he kept like the same intonation and everything in the letter. Yo, this dude's the fucking bomb. He'll be to work early. He'll be the first one there. He's a fucking real G. He's been going hard. I limited him on his fats. Uh, he's been taking to it well. His body composition is real tight. His, his posing's getting better. His real double biceps killer. You'll fucking love it. Um, I'm telling you guys, he's a great fucking choice, man. I think that's why I got the job, guys. I'll be honest. Yo, this dude's a fucking beast, man. 210 bent over rows for reps. I mean, that's insane at his size. It's crazy. His stash is unbelievable. I'm actually toning down his accents. Like, I, I, I'm doing it toned down a little bit so you guys can understand it just in case i ain't joking man i ain't joking about this it is dude's a fucking beast man you would i asked him i was like yo do you think you could write this i was kind of nervous because he's, he's like a cool guy he's you know he's older than me he's like covered in tats oh dude i don't have any heels what am i doing man i haven't been paying attention guys i'm going back home i was like yo do you Yo, Derek, like, you think you could write this letter of recommendation for me? And he's, like, covered in tasks. I mean, he's a big fucking guy. He's a beast, man. I was like, yo, Derek, you think you could write this letter for me? Yo, I'll write your letter, dude. He just didn't, th didn't even ask what it's for. I was like, yo, do you think you could write, letter, uh, write a letter of recommendation for this job I'm applying to? Yo, I'll write your letter, dude. The fucking One beast, man. Very much about our kingdom was the power Love that guy, man. Love that guy, man. 
Thank Jack you, Princess. A... Warp We're Plumber. This must be from the next biome. Let's make two of those. I think I have enough wood for the earrings, too. All right, we need a material stone, right? Oh, bronze. Okay, let's do three more material stones and then one bronze. Dude, oh my god, we're gonna have sick fucking weapons, man. Am I still in contact with them? You know, I, I, I lost my old number. Uh, I don't have my same number, so I don't really even know a way to contact him. I, I think he had actually had a falling out with the gym that I worked at. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't believe he's still there, as far as I know. Uh, but man, I'd, I'd love to tell him like all about my times in Japan. He was, he was really stoked uh, to hear that I was moving and that I got the job. And yeah, I mean, I owe it to him, uh, cause. Uh, I mean, that letter, I mean, probably helped me out a lot, you know, it goes a long way. You have to stand out amongst the crowd because a lot of people apply for Jet. It's it's not the easiest job to get. Like, I definitely know some people uh, that have gotten denied from Jet um, just from the uh, just from the application and from uh, the actual interview itself. Oh, yeah, I think they asked about the interview, too. Oh, dude, the interview is easy, man. The interview is just it's a fucking cakewalk, bro. It's it's straight up so easy. Uh, I I never really mind interviews too much in jobs, but that one was so easy. It, it's just. If you wish with all your heart, and I'm sure any wish you make will come true. Uh, uh, thanks, princess. I just knew it. Thank you, thank you. Um. My bitch looked like David Hasselhoff. How many different lights, trucker hats did that Jim Bro own? Yeah, he was always he was always in a trucker hat in like a full black jumpsuit and just drenched in tats. But uh, I wouldn't stress the interview, man. Just be yourself. They ask you like, they'll ask you like, dude, what's your weakness or weaknesses, your strength, shit like that. What what's like an example of a time you faced a a, a trial at a job and worked through it and how did you overcome it? It's all like those like on the spot shit that you can just kind of bullshit. Uh, and then they they do have a Japanese speaker there too, so they'll test your Japanese. But even if you don't speak Japanese, it's not a big deal. Um, I I just like introduce myself. That's it. And they were cool with that because um, it's not a necessity for the job. Um, oh the earrings. Yeah, that's right. Fuck, I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, man, I think you'll be fine as long as you have a a, a good essay. You'll be good and good good people to write reference letters you should be good um i don't know Attack and defense obviously are if you have stuff so uh any additional effects don't thank forget you princess to consider that as well it's these ones right obviously if you have stuff that you did in college too like i don't know charity work or like worked in clubs that's gonna set you apart too that you usually helps for uh so like japanese jobs so I don't know. You can you can kind of come up with stuff, stretch the truth a little bit. I mean, I worked in a fraternity, which is technically charitable work because we did a lot of charity Attack stuff. So I was so a, a, a charity charity coordinator. Don't forget to consider that as well. 